Okay, hi, my name is Ashley Cooter and I'm an undergraduate here at the UCSB Geography Department. I'm a member of the Bird Window Collisions Working Group here on campus. We're a research group, well, that's aptly named. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about birds. Next slide. So can anyone guess what the number one anthropogenic cause of bird mortality here in the United States is? That's right, it's house cats. But a close number two is bird window collisions, defined quite literally when a bird crashes into a building window mid-flight. At the high end of this estimate, bird window collisions could kill up to 1 billion birds in the United States every year. This is because even if a bird survives enough to fly away, its injuries make it susceptible to brain injury or get eaten by predators immediately following the collision. Nationwide, this is a huge issue, and unfortunately, here at UC Santa Barbara, we're no exception. Next slide. So I go to school at UCSB, and we have a fantastic campus. Everybody at our school loves our buildings and our beautiful location. We're also really lucky to have a great diversity of bird species on campus. Unfortunately, the intersection of these two wonderful parts is really quite ugly. Um, pictured as the Davidson Library, a LEED certified sustainable building. Also pictures it a burrowing owl, which is a rare species that we've been lucky to be visited by in Santa Barbara County. And unfortunately, the Davidson Library killed a burrowing owl who crashed into it during a window collision. Next slide. So you might be wondering, well, why are birds stupid enough to crash into windows in the first place? Well, they're not stupid and it's entirely our fault. We tend to build buildings with huge swaths of glass, either glass that's really reflective or really translucent. Both of these cause the building to blend into its natural surroundings. We also tend to build buildings butting up to natural habitats or near breeding grounds. This creates a sort of a double threat because not only are there more bird species near that building, but the building's also more likely to reflect that natural vegetation. Next slide. So here's campus, pretty, right? Unfortunately, a lot of our buildings violate those conditions. The use sent over there by Lagoon has lots of huge windows that reflect the lagoon. Same with a lot of the buildings over by the coast, like the Ellings Hall or the Marine Biotech Lab. A bunch of our buildings inland are also not, uh, they are not exempt from this problem, like the library or Gravettes Hall. Next slide. So our research group wants to save our birds. First, by doing data collection during spring migration surveys, where we're gonna survey carcasses and we're gonna survey buildings to get the scope of this issue. Then we wanna work with the community and with the university to retrofit problematic buildings that we find. Finally, we want to provide guidelines for the future of bird window collision safety here at UC Santa Barbara. Hopefully through our efforts, our birds can enjoy our campus just as much as we do. Thank you and save the birds.